silver shoes. The tour begins in the clean room of Infinite Harvest. You have to dress the part here. It isn't long, though, before visitors are bathed in a purplish glow. Why don't we start in on this one right here? Nathan Lorne is the sales manager for this indoor hydroponic vertical farm in Lakewood, Colorado, that grows four varieties of exactly one crop. Lettuce. What you see in here is a bib lettuce, the variety is Flandria. Inside a 500 square meter warehouse, under red and blue lights, because that's what leafy green vegetables like, sit 52,000 heads of lettuce stacked from floor to ceiling. An automated system controls the variables that allows these crops to survive and thrive. Whether it be temperature, humidity, CO2, water temperature, light schedule, the list goes on and on. Welcome to at least a part of farming's future. All of those problems that we see in agriculture as we know it are more or less solved by an operation like this. Problems like soil-borne contamination, labor costs, and drought. No need to truck food long distances, trips that often lead to food waste. It's an answer to the age-old farmer's dilemma. How do we optimize an environment to maximize the production of a crop. Josh Craver of Colorado State University, which also dabbles in what's called controlled environment agriculture, says it fits a time when more and more people want locally produced high quality food. Of course, man does not live on lettuce alone. This type of agriculture may not make sense for row crops like corn and wheat. And while LED lighting has made indoor farming much more possible, it does use its share of power. It is relatively expensive to have these structures and to manage these structures year-round, but what you get in return is this premium, high-quality crop that can then be oftentimes sold for a premium. Infinite Harvest is constantly tweaking its treatment of lettuce, which can be a bit finicky. You can ask a plant to do something, you can't tell it to do something. But unlike other lettuce farms, which harvest two or three times a year, this company, whose produce is consumed in restaurants, hotels, and hospitals, doesn't take seasons off. Soon, Lauren says, they'll even be profitable. I don't think vertical farming or indoor farming will necessarily replace agriculture in the long run. Uh, I think it will change it, though. And now Infinite Harvest is even looking to branch out to produce things like berries. Hendrix Abrandi, CGTN, Denver.